Hello everyone, Pastor Lon here, Homestead and Pastor. Um, I want to share a little bit of God's Word with you today during a little devotion time. Uh, the title is Living by Example. I got one verse of scripture I want to share with you. That's Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. It says, The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. I'll read it again because it's one verse. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. And integrity, I always say, my definition is um, integrity is uh, what you do when nobody else is watching. And if you look in the dictionary, it gives you something like a, a firm adherence or a firm grip on uh, moral values, and you won't deviate from that. Uh, a man of integrity or a woman of integrity, they won't waver on their beliefs, and their morality is at the top of the list, and they're following after God. And I know you got a lot of people out there that have good integrity, and they may not be born again, but they have good moral values. Even though good integrity won't uh, won't save you, but I believe that there's a lot of good people that's got some good integrity, even though they're not believers. But I believe when you accept Jesus Christ and you start following Him, um, then you will be a model uh, person, a model parent to your children, and you'll live by example. Um, a righteous man or woman who walks in their integrity and lives his, their life according to the gospel or in harmony with God's beliefs and God's laws and what God's word says. Um, how blessed are, are their children or his children. Uh, they're happy. And, and I say spiritually secure. I mean, they, they, they've been given the foundation. They've been given a good start in life by having a mom or a dad just living with godly integrity, with moral values that are that won't waver. They don't, don't in other words, any wind won't blow them. They, they're going to stand their ground no matter what. If everybody else walks out, they're still going to stand their ground. If family don't agree, they're going to stand their ground. If friends don't agree, they're still going to stand their ground because we answer to God and not men, not mankind. But we're living an, living an example, and that we should, every one of us is, are living an example, whether it be a good one or a bad one. Uh, it also tells us in Proverbs 22 and 6, to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he won't depart from it. You know, that's, 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 that's good or bad. The way you train that child is the way he's going to go, and they're always going to have that in them. And uh, I know that they can be raised the wrong way, and God's Spirit will come along and can save them and change their mind, just like you've done, change their heart, just like you've done myself and many others. But, um, it's going to have to be prayed out of them, and it's going to have to be God to, to deliver them, same way it was with us. But a lot of people have been raised the right way. A lot of kids have been raised the right way. And if the kids that have been raised the right way, um, they should count that a blessing that their parents lived a godly example before them to get them started on the right foot. They trained them up in the right way. And even when they get old and may go astray, go a different way, it is, what it means by that, they won't depart from it. It'll always be in their mind. It'll always be in their heart. they always remember what mom and dad or grandparent did live with godly integrity and lived a godly example and lived an example before them. They may not disagree. They may, they may disagree with it when they're younger, but when they get older, they'll say, you know what? Mom knew what she was talking about. Dad knew what she, he was talking about. Grandparent, grandma and grandpa knew what they were talking about. I wish I, how many times have I said this and probably a lot of people on here, I wish I would have known then what I know now. And if I'd have known then what I know now, I would have done a lot of things different in my early years of my life, especially in my adult life. I would have, I would have changed my direction quicker than I did um, when God was tugging at my heart. But living by example, and uh, we just need to do that. And Peter, oh, he tells over in 1 Peter 5 and 3, you can read that chapter 5, he talks about how the, the, uh, the, the pastors of the flock are supposed to lead by example and, 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 and live their life, set a godly example, but, but lead, live by an example for your flock to follow. Well, it's no different with our children, our families, our spouses, our friends, our co-workers. We're all supposed to be a living example. I've said on here before in another devotion, we're a walking, talking billboard for Jesus or either we're a walking, talking billboard for the devil. I choose to uh, have my Jesus on display as much as I possibly can. So just want to share a little bit of God's word with you today. I hope it's a blessing unto you. And um, again, Proverbs 27, the just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. If you lead by example and walk in godly integrity, 
your children will be blessed behind you. And that's what we got to do, y'all. We got to pass it on to the next generation. And I'll assure you that every family is not doing this. We need to pray that more will start following Christ and more will lead, live a godly example before their children. I may not be the best baseball player. I'm not. I'm not a race car driver, even though my wife thinks I could be at times um, with my driving. I'm not, the, I'm not a professional football player or any other sports, and I'm not kicking that. But I tell you what, I'm a, I'm a man that fears God. I reverence God, and I teach my children to reverence God and fear God and respect others, and most importantly, respect God. And uh, I think if I can give them that, I can give them more than fortune and fame could buy them or more than uh, being a professional athlete could, could, could give them because those finances and, and, and um, the monetary things are going to pass away. It won't be with you forever. But the morality, the godly integrity, the, what we give them uh, from God's word and by our life example, we got to not only talk it, we got to walk it. That'll, live, that'll stick with them forever. And I would rather give my children that than I would to give them monetary gain. So love and appreciate you. And uh, live by example. If you're not living by example, I pray to God to change your heart, change your mind, put you on the right path because your children are dependent on you. Your spouse is dependent on you. And there are many other friends and family members that are dependent on you to live out a godly example because they may, you may be the only Bible that somebody ever reads. So let's live right. Let's follow Christ. He set an example for us to follow. We need to follow his footsteps and train up our children the way they should go when the older won't depart from it. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for this opportunity to share the gospel. I thank you, Lord, for being a living example. If you sent your son to be a living example for us on this earth, to teach us how to love one another, how to respect one another, how to give unto others, do unto others we'd have them do unto us and give, even when it hurts, so oh God, to give from the heart. And I'd be a cheerful giver. And that's not just with money. That's with our love, with our time, with a helping hand or hand up, whatever it may be. Help us to do the right thing in life and be a living example. There's enough negativity in the world today and enough negative examples. We need some positive examples that's following Christ and walking in their integrity. And Father, I just pray for the lost to be saved, the sick to be healed, and your hand of protection upon us all. And Father, we'll be careful to praise you and thank you for all you do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love and appreciate you. And until next time, remember, Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye.